Welcome back to another video and today we're talking about Shirley Ann Jackson. Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson was born on August 5th, 1946 in the nation's capital. Dr. Jackson attended Roosevelt High School where she was valid Victorian. Then she was admitted to MIT where she was only a handful of students that were African American and of that handful only two were African American women. She went on and got her bachelor's in 1968 from MIT. Then she went on five years later to get her doctoral degree at MIT. She became the first African American woman to get her doctoral degree at MIT and she was only the second African American woman to get her doctor of physics degree in the United States. After a doctoral degree, she worked at Fermi Lab, which is nicknamed for Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, where she was a research associate. After she spent two years there, she went on to be a visiting science associate at the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland. And she would come back to work at Fermi Lab in 1975. In 1976, Dr. Jackson would begin working for the technical staff at the Bell Telephone Laboratories. While working on Bell Telephone Laboratories, her research would later be used as a technology behind caller ID and call waiting. This was one of more of her notable innovations. Now, Dr. Jackson was highly regarded for her intelligence and for her resilience. She had a number of awards to back it up. For example, she was a Black Enterprise Woman of Power Legacy Award. She was elected into MIT Corporation Board of Trustees. She was appointed by President Clinton to the chair of Nuclear Regulatory Commission. She led the formation of International Nuclear Regulars Association. She was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. She was awarded National Medal of Science, which if you don't know, is the highest award in the science and engineering field by President Obama in 2015. Currently, she is the 18th president of Ressler Polytech Institute, where she advocates for um, women and minorities in science. So Dr. Jackson, we from Applicable Science want to say thank you for all your contributions that you helped to make this world a better place.